First of all, I never panic, ever. <laughs> I didn't even come close to using my diaper. Um, the first time was very cool. I had never done a spacewalk in my entire life. I was going outside with a Russian who spoke reasonable English, but not great. Great guy, though. So I had got open hatch. I was the lead spacewalker on my very first spacewalk in my entire career. I don't think that happens very often. But I was fortunate enough. So I opened the hatch, and it was pitch black outside, right? And then the differential pressure between the vacuum and a little bit of pressure in the hatch, all the icicle particles from my backpack, my air conditioner, were shooting out into the hole. And I just stood there, or floated there, and I looked and I watched. And it was the coolest thing because, honest to God, the thought that was going through my head had nothing to do with fear. What the thought that went through my head was, I was born to be right here doing this. And you know, people say, oh, you're right, and that's right, and all that, but that's absolutely true. That's exactly what I was thinking. And then when I gracefully exited the space station and flew out, I mean, it was awesome. So the subsequent trips, uh, it was more comfortable, and I mean, you know, I knew what to expect. Uh, but it seems like every six, all six of them I did, I went out at night, which was interesting because it's a little different when you look out that hole and the Earth's shooting by at five miles a second. When it's black, you don't have anything to refer to. But when you see the Earth sitting by, you know, some people squeeze tight, some people get dizzy, some people think they're falling. 